Hi there and welcome to today's class. For this class, we'll look at how to prove um, that, or perhaps given that y is equal to cos x, basically we know that the y over the x or the change in y over change in x is equal to sine minus sine x. So I'm saying that if y is equal to cos x, basically the y over the x is equal to what the minus sine x now we are asked to use first principle method to prove that if y is cos x we know that the change in y or the change in x is what minus sine x let's do that using first principle and let's see if our answer will be comparable with minus sine x basically if you are following our previous classes on first principle method of differentiation what we know is that to y you had change in y to x had change in x so for me i'm saying that to this y y add change in y is equal to i'm seeing cos into what the x plus what the change in x so basically to y add change in y and to x add change in x at this point now, I'll take this y to the other side. I'll have change in y. Change in y is equal to what the cos into x plus change in x minus y. Of course, if I take this positive y to the other side, it becomes a negative y. At this point here, but, but y, this y represents something from the question. Y is what? Cos x. But one of the question is what the cos x. So anyway, I see y here, I'll put cos x. So I have change in y is equal to cos into x plus change in x minus, this is y. What was y? Cos x. I have cos x. So I have here. So we said to y add change in y, to x add change in x. So take your y to the other side there. I'll have this. But y represents something from the question cos x. So I put cos x here to represent y. At this point now, I'll now recall a popular trick function. Recall a popular trick function that says that if I have cos a minus cos b is equal to minus 2 sine a plus b over 2 um sine a minus b over 2. so it means that if i have cos a we assume that that a signifies s in x so cos a minus cos we assume this one is b so it means that it means that i'm comparing this whole expression with this one here right so cos is cos everything here represents a minus is minus cos cos b represents what the x so i'm saying that a comparing now i'll have that a represents what x plus change in x y b represents what the x so let's get in let's let, let, let get this done please from here i'll have change in y change in y to be equal to observe please observe so i want to write this one again rather i'll write this expression here so because minus minus 2 sine into a what's your a this expression x plus change in x plus plus what's b b is x i have x here all over 2 so i have this one here next up sine i'm seeing a sine into a a is x plus change in x minus What's b? Of course, b is x minus x all over what there? All over 2. All right, I have this, please. I have this, please. So at this point now, let's reflect for that. Put down change, change in y. Change in y is now equal to minus 2 sine into x plus x. Of course, that's 2x plus change in x left all over 2. So I have this one sine i have sine here into what the 
observe that minus s will cancel as what plus x so i'm left with what change in x so i have change in x over 2 so i have this so i have this here all right at this point now what comes to mind i'll just simplify this part here so what do we get there i'll have change in y to be equal to minus 2 sine into 2x over 2 plus change in x over 2 i pick out these two into the two um expression here so pick out this then over two pick out this then over two value for lcm here value for lcm concept here i'll get back to this expression so here i have sine into change in x over two so i have this all right um at this point now my task is to simplify this i'll take this with this so of course this will cancel this I should be having change in y to be equal to minus 2 sine into x plus change in x over 2. Uh, next up, sine into change in x over 2. So I have this. All right, at this point now, um, I'll divide both sides by change in x. So at this level, divide both side by change in x what do we get so i have change in y over change in x to be equal to divide everything here by change in x so i have minus two sine into x plus change in x um over two next up sine into um change in x over two mind you all over what there all over what there change in x so i have divided both sides by change x at this point now my priority now is that i will look, look up please look up at this point now i want to try to cancel out this two so for the aim now is to cancel out this two how do i do that i'll basically divide my numerator and denominator by two right so this level now i want to cancel out these two to do that successfully i'll have to divide numerator and denominator by two so at this point now divide numerator and denominator by by what the by two so what do i get there so i have from here i will have uh, so for me i'll have that change in y change in y over change in x is equal to please observe Write that to numerator. I have minus 2 sine into x plus change in x over 2. Sorry. Sine into change in x over 2. I'll divide this numerator by 2. I'm done. This numerator. Now, all over, this all over is this one here. Then I'm switching x, change in x over two so i have this we said divide numerator by two denominator by two as done in this case here so to observe this one now will cancel out this one so i'm having left so i'm having left for me i'll have change in y over change in x is equal to minus sine into x plus change in x over 2 next up sign into change in x over 2 all over the change in x over 2 at this point please note something note that note that if i have sign a over a my answer is 1 also note that if i have tan a over a my answer is one so it means that if i have sine 
so look up if i assign something over that same thing my answer is one right my answer is one similarly if i have done something over that same thing of course my answer is one what do you observe here sign something over that same thing so this one and this is one now so i'm saying that from here now i'm saying that sign change in x over two right all over what the change in x over two this expression this and this are now what are now one so if it's, it's true i'll have that change in y over change in x is equal to minus sign observe please x plus change in x over two right of course this one and this is now one so times one so i have this so i have minus sign x plus change in x over two times one look at this done please for me what i get Now, for, look up, please. From here, I'll have change in y over change in x. So, I have change in y over change in x to be equal to minus sign. I have minus sign into um, x plus change in x over 2. x plus change in x over 2. So, times 1 is still the same thing. Now, listen. We said after dividing through by changing x and you are still left with what changing x you take the limit of changing x to be zero if you're familiar with the previous classes on first principle at this level you should know that after dividing by changing x and you are still left with changing x you take the limit of changing x to be what there to be zero it means that anyway still in x i put zero so i have that change in y over changing x is equal to what there minus sign into x plus zero over two basically zero over two is zero so i have that change in y between in x equal to what minus sign into x plus zero basically x plus zero is just x so it means that therefore my change in y over change in x is equal to minus sign X. So this is my answer after differentiating um, that particular question. So this is why if I differentiate cos x, I'll have minus sign x using first principle method of differentiation. If you found this class helpful, do it to like the video, share to your friends, so that's why subscribe to my channel, and also if you're interested in joining a WhatsApp group, I have created a WhatsApp group. Where different students from different country can easily combine ideas together if you're interested in joining the group simply check the description of this video i'll drop the link to the group there and also if you're interested in private private tutorial class with me you can reach me out through my whatsapp number right so i'll take you any course of your choice right so see you in the next class